Did you know that the average person walks the equivalent of three times around the world in their lifetime? It's nothing, watch this. One, two, three, done, easy, Yay! super easy. I'm the best, I'm the best. Editors, pump some awesome stuff into here, air horns, uh, ladies in bikinis, uh, me with a big trophy, put it right here. All right, I'm the best, thank you. Welcome to Smosh Lab. <laughs> Guys, today we're doing some really cool stuff. I actually am not quite sure what's going on on this one. Nick explained to me a little bit beforehand. To explain this crazy experiment, our scientist, Nick Uhas. All right, man, so this is gonna be awesome, all right? All right, so, so you told me we're going to make an engine in a jar. That is correct. That like is correct. a legit engine. So the nickname for this thing is called a jam jet jar. Nice, jam jet jar. Yeah, j j j j j jam jet jar. <laughs> Kiss FM. Um, so it's really interesting the way this thing works, right? And we tested this a couple times. It's a very, very, very simple setup, right? Mm -hmm. You get a jar, you drill a hole in the top, Shaboom. You put some type of combustible liquid in the bottom of the Just jar. Just some We're, combustible liquid. I wouldn't use gasoline that's maybe too combustible. We're okay. using methanol, right? It has okay. to evaporate. As that liquid is evaporating and creating this gas that is ignitable, right? It's coming out that little hole and you are igniting it with a flame. That flame goes down into the jar, right? And ignites and it's a pulse jet, it combusts in pulses, right? And so okay. through the top of that little tiny hole, it's sucking in air and then the liquid is evaporating, creating more of this gas, igniting, boom, and then sucking in more air, okay. igniting, boom, and then sucking in more air, right? And so I got it. if yeah. it all works well, it should sound kind of like a um, like a car with no muffler on it, or like um, like a lawnmower. You know? Or like or a like Harley, a like a Harley Davidson type of deal. A real small Harley. Like a very, very yeah. tiny Harley. For, like, for Stuart or, Little. Yeah. This would be Stuart Little's little uh, Har Harley Davidson. Yeah, exactly. So, so cute. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Um, do you even have a joke? So. Um, are you looking at your hand? Oh my God. Um, are you fluoride, iodine, and neon? Because boys, you fine. The joke was for my boyfriend. Oh. Uh oh. You know, she likes to find herself projects, you know. <laughs> like, she's into that type of deal, so. Let's do this. Yeah, all right, let's get in it, Let's man. get to it. Nick, tell us what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how you would do this if you're gonna do this at home. Now, again, it's very dangerous. If you're doing it, stop it. But again, it's very simple, and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on too. So we have a regular mason jar, okay? You yeah. drill a hole in the top just over a quarter inch, right? right. Now, the size of that is very specific, because okay. you have to have a hole that will let in air, but at the same time, it's not too small that all of the gas down here is not combustible. This is in water, so we put water in the bottom of this pan. Uh, the reason we did that is if the bottom is cooler and the top is warmer, it'll create a vacuum, and it'll keep sucking that air in there. Okay. Now, again, a pulse, jet is a jet that is combustible in pulses, right? And so we want to continue that uh, action, combusting, combusting, right? And so it, again, it should sound like a motor. Right here, we have a little bit of this methanol and I'll light that up and show you guys just okay. what the methanol, again, it's not, Whoa. you can probably barely Whoa, see it, but it's blue. Whoa, yeah. It's like you can barely see it. Whoa. So it's not like gasoline, right? It's a very slow burn. Yeah. It's very so controlled. So that's the mechanism of this jam jet jar. It's very simple. All right, so what you wanna do is we've put some of this methanol down in these jars right here, right? So it's a different amount of volume in these. And we assume that that volume is the same ratio to the top of this hole, right? Yeah. We're gonna swirl it around. Now we each have a lighter in hand and we're going to create the ignition source. For our engines. For our engines. We are wearing earplugs because it's pretty startling. Freedom Squadron, start your engines. God, that's loud. It kind of creates like a little, a little kind of like a, a little like real quick flame, and okay. then we'll do it again, and we'll try to get we'll try to get our engine started. Where are we know? going? <laughs> In our engine. We're to going Denny's. To Denny's. We're going to Denny's. Going to Denny's. Going to Denny's. Going to Denny's. Because this flame burns 
uh, kind of like a bluish color. We're gonna lower the lights so you can see our jam jet jar in action. Get it all nice and sexy in here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm okay. excited. Are, am I gonna get scared? You, I maybe. Can't I will. We're okay, great. Denny's. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Woo! Oh, <laughs> you, yeah! Yeah! I got my engine started! Did you hear my engine? Yeah! Whoa! That was cool. Did you make it to Denny's? Dude, we yes. Got so I got to Denny's. Fast. That was so crazy. Yeah, oh, man. man, you can see it in there like the cyclone. Yeah, it's like so yeah, yeah, blue yeah. cyclone like going on. Uh, you can actually see yours. The combustion of yours yeah, actually pushed the top of yours up. up. It sounded like a, a big back. old fart, <laughs> and it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, is this similar to how jets and stuff So work? you're probably referring to like an airplane jet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like a jet So engine. in this, we obviously we have a combustion, right? And we have the continuation of the combustion, but in an actual airplane jet, um, it actually has to do with pressure and heating up air and then a lower pressure behind the jet, which creates thrust. If that is like stage 10 difficulty, this is like a one. Oh yeah. my God. So the reason that actually Pulse jets are so cool. It's because they they require no moving parts. That's there is so nothing moving in this, and we got a so, actual jet. Uh, are there any machinery or anything that we know of that uses engines like this? There have been things in the past where people have created them, and uh, some race cars actually use this type of technology to Whoa. to move. For um, NOS. <laughs> Typically though, there is an exhaust port on the other side. I see. So you have fuel going in and you have the spark on one side and it's pushing the exhaust out the back and that is creating th thrust and it is moving the actual item or the jet forward. We don't have that because it's a little tiny jar, but if you were to put this on its side and it had wheels and you were to light it, you could potentially get it to move forward. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. We can like save Legos the world better. with this. Yeah. But we're gonna go to Denny's instead. We're gonna go to Denny's. Go to Denny's. Hey, can we do it again? Because me and Olivia's didn't work. Yeah. You guys and didn't go to Denny's. That's, I wanna yeah. go to Disneyland this time. Oh. I wanna get a hot dog. No, yeah. Wow. Get that at Disneyland. Huh? Well, I guess we're gonna ride our jam jet jars all the way there. Yeah. yeah. All right, are we ready? Yep. Set. Go. go. Here we go. Here. Ah. Sounds Aww. like me after Del Taco. <laughs> Guys, what did we learn? What did we learn besides that Denny's has great food? I still didn't get to Disneyland. We didn't make meth like I thought we were gonna do, so <laughs> Yeah, we bumped what Courtney out. This is kinda Ooh. like when I eat a lot of hot Cheetos, it's like really warm inside of me, and then yeah. I- <laughs> You like run really fast. And then I go to the bathroom, and like my yeah. engine ignites, which is my butthole. Yep. Thank you guys. Comment down below what other experiments we should do. This has been awesome. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Bye. We're going to Denny's. Woo. We're going to get Grand Slam, Dad. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm so excited to be taking this journey into the world of science with all of you. Let us know if there's any other cool experiments you'd like to see us do. Science. I need to come up with a better catchphrase. <laughs>